Did you know that Japan is made up of 6,852 islands? Yes, you heard that right, 6,852. But don't worry, we won't be covering all of them today. Instead, we are going to embark on a whirlwind adventure into the captivating realm of Japanese geography. We'll uncover the secrets of Japan's four main islands, explore the fiery depths of the Ring of Fire, and scale the iconic peaks of Mount Fuji. We'll navigate the country's diverse climate zones, from snow-capped mountains to subtropical beaches, and dive into the bustling urban landscape. We'll also delve into the natural resources, wildlife, historical sites, and cultural influences that make Japan a truly unique and diverse country. So buckle up and prepare for a journey like no other. Join us as we delve into the top 10 geographical facts about Japan that you absolutely need to know. Japan is not just one big landmass. It's an archipelago made up of four main islands. Let's start with Honshu, the largest of the quartet and home to the bustling capital, Tokyo. This island is a dynamic blend of urban landscapes and serene natural beauty, boasting not only the highest population, but also the highest mountain, Mount Fuji. Next up, Hokkaido, the northernmost island. It's a winter wonderland, famous for its snow festivals and hot springs. The island's untouched, untouched wilderness and national parks make it a paradise for nature lovers. Then we have Kyushu, the third largest island located in the south. Its subtropical climate makes it an agricultural stronghold, producing a bounty of rice, tea, and other crops. The island is also known for its active volcanoes and hot springs, drawing in those seeking relaxation and adventure alike. Finally, there's Shikoku, the smallest of the four main islands. It's famous for its 88 temple pilgrimage, a spiritual journey that's been undertaken for centuries. Shikoku's mountainous interior and scenic coastlines provide a tranquil contrast to the more bustling regions of Japan. Together, these four islands make up the geographical tapestry of Japan. Each island with its unique features and character contributes to the country's vibrant cultural and natural diversity. These four islands together create the diverse and stunning landscape that we know as Japan. Japan sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area infamous for its seismic activity. Now don't let that scare you off. Instead, let's dive into what makes this geological hotspot so unique and intriguing. Picture this, the Ring of Fire is an enormous horseshoe-shaped ring in the Pacific Ocean, spanning 40,000 kilometers. It's like the world's most temperamental necklace, dotted with 75% of the world's active volcanoes and 90% of the world's earthquakes. And Japan is right there, smack dab in the middle of it all. The land of the rising sun is no stranger to earthquakes. In fact, it experiences over a thousand measurable tremors each year. That's almost three shakes, rattles and rolls every single day. But here's the cool part. Japanese buildings are designed to withstand these frequent jitters. They sway with the Earth's motion like a dancer moving with the rhythm of a song. Now let's talk about volcanoes. Japan is home to over a hundred active volcanoes. That's about 10% of all the active volcanoes in the world. Iconic peaks like Mount Fuji and Sakurajima are not just scenic vistas, but they are also geological marvels. These fiery mountains are a testament to the powerful forces shaping our planet. While these geological features might seem daunting, they've also become an integral part of Japan's identity. The hot springs, or onsen, that you might have heard of, they're a direct result of this volcanic activity. And let's not forget the rich, fertile soils that volcanoes provide, making the country's landscape a lush tapestry of green. So, yes, 
living in the ring of fire has its challenges, but it also contributes to Japan's stunning landscapes. The seismic activity has shaped the country's construction techniques, its hot springs culture, and even its agriculture. In the end, it's a constant reminder of the Earth's raw power and the resilience of the Japanese people. And isn't that something to be admired? When you think about Japan's geography, the first image that comes to mind is probably the iconic Mount Fuji. From its snow-capped peak to its symmetrical slopes, Mount Fuji is more than just a mountain. It's the tallest peak in Japan, standing majestically at 3,776 meters. It's a dormant volcano, last erupting over 300 years ago. But its volcanic nature has given it rich, fertile soil that supports a diverse range of plant life. Mount Fuji is not just a geographical wonder, but a cultural symbol too. It has inspired countless works of art, from traditional ukiyo-e woodblock prints to modern photography. It's a sacred site in Shinto belief, home to the kami, or spirits, and is visited by thousands of pilgrims each year. It's also a popular spot for hikers. The official climbing season runs from July to early September, and it's estimated that over 300,000 people scale its heights each year. The climb is no walk in the park, though. It's a strenuous hike that tests your endurance, but the reward at the top, watching the sunrise above the clouds, is truly unforgettable. Mount Fuji's influence extends even to everyday life in Japan. It's visible from Tokyo on clear days, a constant reminder of nature's grandeur amid the bustling city life. Mount Fuji is not just a beautiful sight. It's a symbol of Japan's rich geographical diversity. In Japan, you can experience everything from snowy winters to subtropical summers. Now let's take a moment to marvel at the incredible weather diversity that Japan has to offer. You see, Japan stretches over 3,000 kilometers from north to south, and because of this, enjoys a variety of climate zones. Starting from the northern tip, Hokkaido is the coldest region of Japan. It's a winter wonderland with heavy snowfall, making it a paradise for snow sports enthusiasts. Imagine cozying up in a hot spring while the snow softly falls around you. That's the magic of Hokkaido's winter. As we journey down south, we reach the temperate zone, home to cities like Tokyo and Kyoto. Here you'll find four distinct seasons, each with its own charm. Spring brings the delicate beauty of cherry blossoms, while autumn paints the landscape in vibrant hues of red and orange. But the weather story doesn't end there. As we move further south, we reach the subtropical zone, where the climate becomes warmer and more humid. Okinawa, Japan's southernmost prefecture, is a classic example. It's a place where you can enjoy beautiful beaches and coral reefs year-round, making it a favorite among sunseekers and scuba diving lovers. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that Japan also has a tropical zone? Yes. You heard it right. The Ogasawara Islands, located about 1,000 kilometers south of Tokyo, are in the tropics. Here you can find exotic wildlife and lush vegetation that's unique to this region. But it's not just about the weather. These diverse climate zones contribute to Japan's rich biodiversity, influencing everything from the flora and fauna to the agricultural practices and even the local cuisines. So. Whether you're a ski lover, a beach bum, a nature enthusiast, or a foodie, you'll find a corner of Japan that feels like it's been tailor-made for you. Japan's diverse climate zones make it a country of contrasts where every season has its own beauty. And that's the beauty of Japan, a land of endless discovery, where every journey brings a new perspective and a deeper appreciation for this amazing country. Japan's geography isn't just about mountains and islands, it's also about rivers and lakes. Diving right in, let's start with the Shinano River, 
Japan's longest. Stretching over 200 miles, it winds its way from the Japanese Alps to the Sea of Japan, serving as a life source for the rich agricultural region of Niigata. Next, we can't ignore the iconic Lake Biwa. Nestled in the heart of Shiga Prefecture, it's the largest freshwater lake in the country and an oasis of biodiversity. More than a thousand species call this lake home, including some that are found nowhere else on Earth. Then there's the Tone River, a powerhouse of the Kanto region. It's not just a water source, but a vital artery for transportation and a playground for water sports enthusiasts. The list wouldn't be complete without mentioning Lake Ashi. Situated in the shadow of Mount Fuji, it's not just a natural wonder, but a cultural icon, featuring prominently in art and literature over centuries. And finally, the Kiso River, known for its crystal clear waters and the historic post towns along its banks, it's a living testament to Japan's rich history and tradition. But remember, these bodies of water are not just geographical features. They're interwoven with people's lives, shaping agriculture, industry, and even leisure activities. From the rice fields nourished by the Shinano River to the sailing boats dotting Lake Biwa, they are central to Japan's culture and lifestyle. And that's what makes them so uniquely fascinating. Japan's urban geography is as fascinating as its natural landscapes. And when we talk about urban landscapes, Tokyo, the capital city, is undoubtedly the poster child. Tokyo is a sprawling metropolis, a perfect blend of the old and the new, where neon-lit skyscrapers sit comfortably next to centuries-old temples. It's like stepping into the future while still having one foot firmly planted in the past. Beyond Tokyo, we find a network of bustling cities, each with its unique charm. Yokohama, the second largest city, is known for its stunning waterfront and the iconic Yokohama Chinatown, the largest Chinatown in Japan. Osaka, often dubbed as Japan's second city, is famous for its modern architecture, vibrant nightlife, and mouth-watering street food. Further west lies Hiroshima, a city that rose from the ashes of World War II and is now a symbol of peace and resilience. Its Peace Memorial Park and Museum are poignant reminders of the city's tragic past. Then there's Kyoto, the cultural heart of Japan. It's a city where time seems to have stood still, with its traditional wooden houses, ancient shrines, and serene Zen gardens. Heading north, we find Sapporo, the capital of Hokkaido, known for its ski resorts, hot springs, and the annual Sapporo Snow Festival, which attracts millions of visitors from around the world. But it's not just the big cities that deserve the spotlight. Japan's rural landscapes are equally captivating, with picturesque small towns and villages nestled in mountains or along the coastlines. They offer a glimpse into the slow-paced traditional life, away from the hustle and bustle of the urban centers. It's this seamless blend of the old and the new, the urban and the rural, that makes Japan's geography so intriguing. It's a country where cutting-edge technology coexists with ancient traditions, where skyscrapers tower over traditional tea houses and where bullet trains whiz past rice fields and cherry blossom trees. Japan's urban landscapes are a testament to its ability to blend tradition and modernity. Whether you're exploring the towering skyscrapers of Tokyo or the tranquil gardens of Kyoto, you're sure to find a piece of Japan that resonates with you. Despite its limited land, Japan has a rich array of natural resources and a vibrant agricultural industry. Indeed, the land of the rising sun is much more than its bustling cities and majestic mountains. It's a treasure trove of natural resources, from abundant forests covering about two-thirds of the land to mineral resources like limestone, silica, and small amounts of petroleum. 
these resources are vital in supporting the country's industries, from construction to automotive manufacturing. Japan's geographical diversity also lends itself to a thriving agricultural sector. Despite the challenge of mountainous terrain, ingenious terracing techniques have transformed slopes into productive farmland. The warmer southern regions cultivate rice, tea and citrus fruits, while the cooler north is known for its apples and high quality beef. The country's long coastline also supports a prosperous fishing industry, with Japan being one of the largest consumers of fish and seafood in the world. But it's not just about what's on or under the ground. Japan's geography also influences where industries are located. For instance, manufacturing industries are often found in coastal areas, taking advantage of the easy access to international shipping routes. And let's not forget about the energy sector. Japan is a world leader in technology for renewable energy, particularly in solar power and hydroelectricity, harnessing the power of its rivers and ample sunshine. To sum up, Japan's geography plays a crucial role in shaping its economic activities and lifestyle. From the foods they eat to the industries they work in, the Japanese people truly live in harmony with their geography. Japan's diverse geography is home to a variety of wildlife and stunning natural parks. Japan's natural beauty is not only limited to its scenic landscapes and iconic landmarks, it extends to its rich biodiversity that thrives in its numerous natural parks. These parks are spread across the country, each offering a unique glimpse into the local wildlife and ecosystems. In the northernmost island of Hokkaido, for example, you'll find Daisetsuzan National Park. This park is a paradise for nature lovers. Boasting a variety of wildlife, such as the brown bear, Hokkaido deer, and more than a hundred species of birds. Its alpine plants and hot springs make it a haven for botany enthusiasts and those seeking relaxation a lie. Heading south on the main island of Honshu lies the famous Nikko National Park. Known for its waterfalls, lakes and forests, it's also home to the Japanese macaque, often referred to as the snow monkey. These monkeys are known for their love of hot springs, providing a unique spectacle for park visitors during the winter months. Moving further south, on the island of Kyushu, you can explore the Asokuju National Park. This park is unique because it houses one of the world's largest calderas. The lush grasslands here are home to the Japanese wild horse, while the wetlands provide a habitat for a variety of bird species. The southernmost island of Okinawa hosts the Iriomote Ishigaki National Park, home to the elusive Iriomote wildcat. This feline is found nowhere else in the world, highlighting the unique biodiversity present in Japan's natural parks. In these parks, you'll not only encounter a variety of wildlife, but also experience the changing landscapes and ecosystems that span from subarctic to subtropical climates. Each park is a testament to the natural beauty and biodiversity that Japan has to offer. But these parks are more than just tourist destinations. They play a crucial role in conservation efforts, helping to preserve Japan's unique flora and fauna for future generations. Japan's natural parks and wildlife are a testament to its rich biodiversity. Japan's geography is also rich in history, with many regions boasting historical sites. Let's take a virtual journey through time and space, shall we? First off, the ancient capital of Kyoto, known as the City of 10,000 Shrines. Kyoto was the center of politics and culture for over a thousand years. It's a living museum with 17 UNESCO World Heritage Sites that include temples, shrines and gardens, each with a story to tell. Next, we travel to Hiroshima, a city that rose from the ashes of World War II. The Peace Memorial Park and Museum stand as powerful reminders of the devastating impact of nuclear weapons, promoting peace and understanding. 
Let's not forget the mountainous region of Nikko, dotted with lavishly decorated shrines and temples nestled amidst natural beauty. It's a place where spirituality and nature intertwine, offering a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of modern Japan. In the northernmost island of Hokkaido, we find the historic village of Hokkaido, showcasing architecture from the Meiji and Taisho periods. A walk here feels like stepping back into the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Lastly, there's the Himeji Castle, a masterpiece of Japanese architecture. This white heron castle is a symbol of Japan's feudal past and is one of the country's 12 original castles. These historical sites and regions are a window into Japan's past, adding another layer to its fascinating geography. Japan's geography has had a profound impact on its culture. Imagine an intricate tapestry where threads of geography and culture are woven together to create a vibrant masterpiece. That, friends, is Japan. The country's unique geographical features have shaped its culture in ways that are as diverse as the landscape itself. Let's take food, for instance. Japan is largely surrounded by the sea, and this has greatly influenced its cuisine. Sushi, anyone? This world-renowned dish, made of vinegared rice and a variety of ingredients, often includes fresh seafood, a testament to Japan's maritime geography. The country's mountainous terrain, on the other hand, has given rise to dishes like soba and udon, noodles made from buckwheat and wheat flour, respectively, which thrive in cooler, high-altitude regions. And then there are the festivals. Japan's geography has given rise to an array of regional celebrations that are a feast for the senses. Take the Sapporo Snow Festival in Hokkaido, where the abundance of snow in this northernmost island is celebrated with magnificent ice sculptures. Or the Awa Odori Festival in Tokushima, which takes place during the humid summer months, reflecting the warm subtropical climate of the Shikoku region. Geography has also influenced traditional Japanese arts. The delicate and transient beauty of cherry blossoms, a distinctive feature of Japan's temperate climate, has been a recurring theme in poetry, music, and visual arts. The rugged volcanic landscapes have inspired the aesthetics of Japanese gardens, where rocks, water, and plants are harmoniously arranged to reflect the natural world. Living in a region prone to natural disasters has also shaped the Japanese ethos of resilience and harmony with nature. This is reflected in their architectural designs, which are not only aesthetically pleasing, but are also designed to withstand earthquakes. In Japan, geography and culture are intertwined, creating a unique blend that is truly Japanese. Whether it's the food on your plate, the festivals that brighten up the seasons, or the art that captures the country's natural beauty, you can see and feel the influence of geography on every aspect of Japanese culture. Well, we've just taken a whirlwind tour of Japan's geography, from the four main islands forming this archipelago nation to the iconic Mount Fuji, we've explored the diverse climate zones, rivers, lakes, and the urban sprawl of Tokyo. We've touched upon the natural resources, wildlife, historical sites, and how all these geographical elements have a profound impact on the culture. As we've seen, Japan's geography is as diverse and fascinating as the country itself. Until next time, stay curious.